Hello all. Today we are going to learn how can we do goods movement within plant that is intra plant movement okay from one SLOC to another SLOC without reservation okay initially what we are doing we are creating reservation for the material requirement using 913 movement type then we can goods issue uh, uh, using 915 movement type goods issue against reservation and we can transfer the goods movement against the requirement of the reservation now today what we are going to learn how can we transfer the goods from one storage location to another storage location without reservation okay for which we are going to use movement type 311 Okay, movement type 311, transfer posting uh, others. Okay, we are going to use the transaction code MIZO. Okay, MIZO. What we are going to use the transaction code MIZO. So, before we are going to use uh, transaction code MIZO for the goods movement, we are going to check the stock movement, stock value at thousand and two thousand storage location okay so what you have to do go in the logistic menu go in the material management go in the inventory management go in the goods uh, movement go in the material document okay inventory count okay you can directly use the transaction code mb52 fine here you need to fill the material code plant initially we are going to check the count of this material at 2000 storage location okay so one quantity is there fine so you need to check quantity is one so before posting quantity is one now we are going to check the quantity at initial at thousand storage location 97 quantities are there okay so at thousand storage location 97 quantities are there okay before goods movement now we are going to good going to do goods movement okay go in the sap menu path logistic material management inventory management and goods movement okay click on this go in the logistic go in the material management go in the inventory management go in the goods movement click on this goods movement migo okay so what you have to select from this transfer posting others okay and transfer within the plan movement type 311 okay so what you have to do uh, material movement from 1000 to 2000 okay uh, ball bearing okay what is the ball bearing requirement fine and here from you need to fill material code plan storage location quantity and units okay so you need to copy the material code from here okay i'm filling the material code Plant code is 3002 storage location from 1000 storage location to 2000 storage location. You need to quantity how much quantity? One quantity I just want to transfer. Okay, as per the requirement. Okay, at the destination, the storage location is 2000. So within the plant, so there is a no option of the plant code at the destination side. Okay, click on the enter. See, ball bearing 6311, 
plant, storage location, destination, material code, SSA plant name and storage location name. Okay. Now go in the material, go in the quantity, one numbers, where, good recipient, uh, AD, MM, PZM. Okay. PGM 2000. Okay. Here you can add your root bearing requirement. One quantity. Now click on the collective slip. Okay. And first you need to click on the check. Everything is all right. Document is okay. Now we are going to post. Once we post, a material document has been posted now. Now you can note down this material document. Okay. Uh, Migo documents. Okay. You need to. The same you can check. Same the document entry you can check in MB51. MB51. Okay. Same material code 3002, 1000. Okay. See. The document is posted is. 882 882 document is posted on the same date one quantities if you double click on this document see uh, this is the detail of the document one quantity is transferred from main store to pgm office okay and now you can click on the document info you can click on the financial doc no financial document is there because movement is from inter plant one storage location to another storage location fine now I'm just want to check the data, check the data in initial plan to 1000 and 2000, fine. See, I'm just filling both the storage location, same material code within the plant, both the storage location I have filled. See, at 1000. 96 quantity at 2000, 2 quantity. See. See. At 2000, now 2 quantity and at 1000, 96 quantity. See. You can see these things before posting one quantity, after posting two quantity at the destination side. At source side, 97 quantities are in, at initial before posting. And after transfer posting, 96 quantity. Hope you clear these things. You have successfully transferred the documents. Okay. So how this is the way. How can you transfer the material from one storage location to another storage location without reservation. Okay. But my personal recommendation is that from main store to another store, you have to transfer the documents uh, inventory as per proper requirement. That uh, at the requirement side, they create the reservation, and on the basis of that reservation, you just re issue the goods quantity. Okay, because for that, you have a proper record of that. Okay, you can also use this transaction code. Okay, because once the things are required, then you can transfer the goods. Okay. So thanks for watching this SMP tutorial. If you really uh, uh, think this is useful uh, tutorial, then please share this knowledge with your friends and colleagues because knowledge sharing is very important. Knowledge sharing is gearing. Okay. And if you have any query in your mind, then please mention in the comment section. And also reach us at ERP SAP team one at the rate gmail.com. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.